Hey everyone, this is Louis7 and I am streaming Lord of the Rings Online back from my like two day break. I needed to fix my volume here, but I will be playing my lore master on the Anor Legendary server. Continuing, I think uh, the last stream was also on this character, but I'll be continuing kind of where I left off. Except, oh well, actually, I need to find my mouse cursor here. Okay, I actually am going to be questing. I think, I think it's actually been a while since I've only quested because I keep getting interrupted or... I don't know if interrupted is the right word. I have no idea why Grimbjorn is here. Maybe he's just here, but... Yeah, I keep getting kind of interrupted by doing other stuff like Goblin Town, the last one, and I think I did a Numenos, and maybe... Maybe I actually just quested in like the 23rd stream or something actually, but... Yeah, I've done a bunch of stuff other than questing, so this time I'm planning on sticking to the plan of just questing. We'll see if I can actually keep that up, but we need to get back to on track with the quest with Misty, Misty Mountains. It's been a couple of days since I played again, so I have to familiarize myself with what all's going on, and I actually untracked all of my quests, it looks like. I think I actually have five... No, I have four quests to do here, so I do have that quest. I wouldn't mind going ahead and doing my only level 45 quest in... Um, well, not my only level 45 quest, but my quest towards Heligrod. I don't know if that leads to another quest set, but I wouldn't mind going ahead and knocking that out. So we might go ahead and try that and get that done first. Okay, so to do that, honestly, I don't know if I'm closer here or at the Western Bruin and Source, but I don't think I've actually searched, like, actually explored this area between Eastern Bruin and Northern Bruin Source, so I wouldn't mind just uh, traveling from here and seeing what that's like. So we can kind of go on an adventure to start this. I think, yeah, going this way would probably work out best. Assuming, I think, yeah, there's a way to get, you can go south of that little goblin camp where Goblin Town is, actually. Also hoping to get a lot of crafting resources, but that's pretty usual. I don't know if I had my inventory this clean last time, but it's pretty clean right now. I just remember getting a bunch of stuff from Goblin Town, and I thought my inventory was overflowing even, but maybe I cleaned it. It's, again, been a while. I do have these nice level 45 shoes. I will probably end up equipping these. I don't see a particular reason why not, because these, um, as far as I know, the set is something that's useful until you get your essence gear and it's got like a lot of tactical mastery which I want to get to the cap of 200%. Sounds like somebody's car alarm is going off but it hasn't... I think I've heard it twice. Hopefully that doesn't keep going and interrupting this. I don't know if you all can hear it though. It's not all that loud. Especially compared to the train horn that comes by sometimes. I do need a pet out, even though I actually killed those goblins a little bit fast. So I'm trying to adjust my volume here. I can't find the switch for my uh, headset to adjust the volume on that. I think the map is a little bit off sync, but I should be good to just head west into the open hill right here. I guess it's not really open, it's just like a huge ramp. Or maybe it's this way. Got a lot of scholar items. Also have a lot of barrels. I don't know how you how much I don't know just how much they're used in the master jeweler tier. Uh maybe I should have just taken a swift travel. That might actually be easier. It looks like I'm gonna have a rough time if I keep trying to go this way. Pretty sure you can get up there somehow, but Oh, I don't want to spend like a real long time just running around the Misty Mountains when I kind of want to get a bit of questing done here. And we still do have the 100% XP gain. I believe today is the last day, so I will be able to take advantage of that a little bit today. I don't know, since I'm starting late, how long I'll be going or want to go. But that will be helpful as far as leveling up, and I kind of just realized I'm six levels away from the level cap, which is pretty close. So that is um, pretty exciting. I 
I got just uh, thinking. I have the rest of Misty Mountains. I was kind of thinking about this finishing Goblin Town, the, all the XP I got from that and the basically four, three or four levels I got from it. I think I got actually four levels number-wise, but just barely over three. Uh, I'm like way overrunning this town. We're just like wandering around here doing nothing at the start of this, but we'll eventually make our way to that quest in Heligrod area. Uh, but what was I talking about? Yeah, so I think it looks like I should be able to, if I fill in some instances and maybe go explore Halls of Night and just do some general things outside of questing on this character, I should be able to get level 50 just doing Eregion on top of Misty Mountains here. And I might do some stuff in Angmar. I don't know what, like, my kin... We do, like, weekly runs. And I usually join them, but sometimes they do book quests, and uh, some of those probably Angmar, and they might do some, like, group sets in Angmar. Where do I want to go? Probably at Glowin's Camp. So it's possible I could get some questing in there as well to help in other areas. Just other stuff outside of, like, my regular questing and going through zones that I typically do in Lotro and have been doing on this character. For only, it's kind of... I know 25 streams is a lot, but after going through like Louiden and doing some more of that recently, it kind of puts the perspective in how many episodes Louiden has and how few streams I've had on this character, but how much more this character has progressed and how little Louiden's progressed. Just the streams are so much longer, and actually Louiden has the full XP because he's on a regular server. So he's not held back by, like, this character, the minus 60% XP, or minus 40%. Just as far as, like, I really need to get a new outfit, this brown's starting to annoy me. I don't know if I can go back to green yet if I just equip that, but the brown's still better than that, but I do want to get rid of it. Kind of want, like, a white outfit. Could just be because I'm in a snowy zone with a snowy looking mount. Just have everything white. And I kind of, I like the look of my hat, I kind of wonder what, because I usually don't go for like white cosmetic gear, so, and I'm pretty sure there would be a white dye. So I'm kind of curious what something like that would look like for this character, and maybe with this hat what it would look like in white. I need to head a bit more east here. I want to look at that, but I'm also kind of trying to keep a little bit on track of where I'm going go around this mountain instead of not to the west of it. I don't think there are any mobs I need to kill here for any particular reason. The bear's deed, I'm like 26 away, did that say? And I believe there are a bunch of bears in the giant halls area if I like end up trying to farm deeds on this character. Don't really need the yetis. Or the worms. Well, the worms actually need a bunch of, but nothing really to focus on deed-wise right now while I'm just in the area. I don't see anything, at least. To give me something else to do here while traveling. Yeah, when my cat... I think it was the last stream? Yeah, it was the last stream. She knocked my cup of water off my desk right at the end of it and cracked the cup. The one I've always used for streaming, so now I'm just using my water bottle and it's kind of noisy, so I'm gonna probably just use a regular cup, but yeah, I have to get that situated again. Try and chop these. Oh no, he's not gonna let me. Should, I don't know, I thought I summoned my pet. I don't know what happened to him. I thought I heard a noise that was outside of Lotro, but don't think I actually did. Oh, I'm back to getting Lebethron branches here. That's not as exciting. I actually do think I still need a little bit more though on my woodworker. I finally went through all the crafting stuff. Main thing I need, I'll need a ton of black ash branches and the ancient iron ore for my weaponsmith, that's what she is, yes. 
And I still need some dwarf iron ore even. Oh, I can actually get that without the worm noticing. So we need to... Yeah, go around. I was going to say it would be nice if it was like right there, but I don't see anything there with a... That would be a quest, and I actually need to talk to somebody, Sigrun. Now that I'm getting close, I need to see what I need to do. I'm hoping this has some quests attached to it. That's kind of why I ran all this way. Because I assume they'll have something for me to do. Okay, they actually do have quite a few things. A quest to complete four of these quests. Okay, so it wasn't kind of pointless going here like I'd hope. And we have some level 45 stuff to do, which I'm basically on level 4. One level under, but I actually do have level 44 quests, so I'm on level as far as that goes. Also, where are these quests? No, what? North Central, North Downs? Ulthrakar? Um... Rivendell? Rivendell? Honestly, I'm not sure I want to do these quests anymore. Reputation? None of these were reputation, were they? Um? Well, that's kind of disappointing. I thought I got some actual exciting quests there. So I have one in Rivendell, another in Rivendell. And then another new one I got is Othrakar in North Downs. Where's the other new one I got? Old Friendships, Warren Hunters, Lament, Extent of the Threat. Okay, that's Rivendell. Ancient Foes of the Spider Bane. That's this one. Oh, that's that's an Archit. I don't. I don't see much point in doing these quests right now, to be honest. Um, I just thought these were quests for outside Helograd here where we, like, saw all those mobs before when we came here. But it doesn't look like that's the case. So I'm just going to return to Vinder Hall and maybe do these quests later. Hey, Eduardo Mario. And I think the new Bjorning is pretty good overall. I don't like their DPS bet quite as much. I don't know if I necessarily like it less, but... I feel like the update could have been better for them and they're just like a couple key things that can make them a lot more fun right now. But the other specs, the blue line's like way better. That I think was a really good update for them. The yellow line is slightly weaker, but overall the flow of the play I like better. And slightly weaker as in like the healing output. I've noticed on my burglars at least, burglars my Bjornings at least is slightly less overall but their contributions outside of healing is more in the yellow line so I think that's good in that case. In the burglar I played a new burglar where I didn't really get to test the changes at all because I was just too low level. I was hoping I could see some of the changes at that low level. I did find out some things about the burglar so that wasn't like a whole waste of two hours or anything but yeah, burglars, I didn't notice too much with the update. It probably had more to do if you're like raiding or doing other end game stuff at high level. It might affect some stuff on the legendary server, but nothing I got to really testing yet. And then champions and Moria. I personally am not the biggest fan of champions, but I don't see anything wrong with them. They can have good single target DPS and good AoE DPS. And a lot of people do like them and like having them in their groups for their AoE DPS usually. But as far as playing them, I'm not the biggest fan of champions. Oh, I never looted that. Or I did loot that. So we are headed. I don't know why. It feels like I'm like leaning so far west, but we are headed into this wide open area of snow. I guess uh, head far southeast. I don't know what this purple quest is. Eliminating the trail garden. 
And then the orange one is Thorkel has fallen, so Thorkel's axe and helmet. Don't need the frost mammoth. I have quests to kill mammoths, but it's never these mammoths, it's the ones in giant halls. Which I can probably solo those quests once I eventually get to them. It looks like I can get a quest from killing these worms here, so maybe I want to kill every mob to see if some of them just drop items to start quests. Business before vengeance. Well, it looks like my lynx is going to make this easy with the wolves. Yeah, I didn't get an item. Usually I don't like always expect an item to drop from mobs and I don't know they might even have removed that from some of the mobs in this game and just given them you either get the quest auto bestowed from killing them or just other sources. But I think it's still always good to check when you're unfamiliar because Lotro does have a tendency to have quests like that. I'm thinking in particularly in Eregion actually which we'll be headed to sometime soon. I don't know how much more of Misty Mountains I have, but I'm guessing it's near the end because I'm South High Pass, I've done everywhere else. I um, still have giant halls to do though, but I already have quests for that area and it's level 45. And I already did Goblin Town, which was a pretty big part of questing here it seems like. Got a lot of my XP from that area. Oh yeah, I do need to get back on track with what deeds I'm working on, so I probably want to rotate um, 8 and 9 as they are now. My sign of power command and wizard's fire. Kind of as much as I can. It's unfortunate. So it does look like I need 11 of these scales. I don't have that quest track because I have all these locked. Probably unlock inside of bitter stars. Oops. Pressing 9 and 0. Another quest available. Enter the caves. Yeah, so Misty Mountains, it did not have that many quests at the start of it. But now that we're higher level, actually, there are a ton of quests because it started, there just weren't many quests for, like, near level 40, but it did start near level 40. Looks like the big chunk of this zone is level 45 and 44 or so. Okay, so we can untrack that one. Discover if Jaka of the Garden carries an antidote. That's not what I'm on, is it? No. It's like, that doesn't really seem like this little worm area. I also never did craft this character gear. I know I was intending to craft him some gear. Uh, but that just never happened. Ooh, I also have to use Staff Strike, don't I? There's his axe. Looks more like a great axe. So I had a quest to enter this cave. Um, oh, that looked like it's just a burning fisher worm. It looked like it'd be like a signature type mob. A worm by detail. Okay, defeat the fearsome worm in the caves. Don't know where the fearsome worm is. That one looks kind of fearsome down there. There's also a chest behind him, so we'll head that way. Draw power, that's actually a pretty easy deed I can do solo because... Not pretty easy, but just a skill I would actually regularly use because it's kind of strong. Kind of strong as in just not weak. I don't know if these mobs are respawning fast, if somebody was just here clearing. But yeah, any progress I can get on these deeds like every day, basically every stream, if I do stream this character every day, is good to get more trait points. Because I'm... actually I need to spend one more, but I'm really lacking. I only need one more to actually get liquid fire though.
So, I should be back live, and I, OBS just like randomly crashed, I don't know why. It hasn't actually done that before, I don't think. But, we're back, and I got Lotro back up. It was a black screen there for a second as well. So we killed the signature, I think it went off just after I killed the signature, I just like sat in the same area, but... Yeah, we actually can mount up in this cave, that is like super weird. Normally, I don't think you can do that in this game. Or at least you have to use a goat if you're... Oh, that's a treasure cache. I can't get that. So I'm still looking for his helmet, which according to the map is actually near the outside of this cave, it looks like. I'm going to loot this corpse, though, and see if we need any more worms. I don't think I actually do. Wow, I actually got 22 silver from that. Yeah, I got, um, don't need worms, but I got some decent deed progress from them, I guess. Also need some of my links. I don't know if he died or what happened to him. Am I really getting 584 XP a kill? That just seems like a really large amount. I want to see how much that moves my XP bar, actually, the next kill I get. Yeah, that moves it up a decent chunk. Could just sit here and grind deeds and probably get some good XP with uh, double XP and I also have my rested bonus or... VIP bonus, as I think they call it. Yeah. Okay, I actually need to do something when I have this many mobs on me. Every little cast of these helps when I think about it, but... Yeah, the, at least the Light of Hope share the power sign of power or cure of knowledge of knowledge. Knowledge of cures. Those are ones I can work on just with my pet and don't really have to worry about being in combat and can slowly progress on them. They're actually something I could work on a little bit when not streaming if I ever just happen to log on this character and want to press three keys for a little while. Um, I don't think I need wolves for anything. Need the Garadane mainly. And I, oh, I never got his helmet. Great. Well, we get to go all the way back there because I forgot to get his helmet. I know I felt kind of dude crazy these last five streams or so. Basically, I think since I started Misty Mountains and really realized I was kind of lacking on some of these. But I do want to check Knowledge of Cures. That is one I always, I keep mentioning that I just need to keep on casting that basically. Okay, so his helm, it's actually a little bit deeper in. Fortunately, we don't have too many worms to deal with yet. There's his axe. Uh, looks like it might be... Um, map, it looks like it's actually back up here. In this corner? Yeah, here it is. Okay. I just don't think I ever went this far high enough. Okay, now gonna say now we're done but I do want to loot this corpse I think I have to use light of hope 600 times which is a really large amount for a 30 second cooldown skill we can go ahead while I'm running here just check some more deed progress so awareness of the oh yeah wisdom of the council that's another one I wouldn't mind working on a little bit the kind of scary part about using that on cooldown is in case you actually need it that's off cooldown because of that there's one Garadane. 
I think I broke my leg. Did I really get 18 seconds for that tiny fall? I feel like I've jumped higher and got to nothing before. I need to go all the way down here. I don't know, on the map it has a not really mountainous to... Yeah, that way it's not... I don't know, I don't think a map like that needs to be perfectly accurate, especially kind of the way this zone is and the way Lotro maps are. Um, see why I was dismounted? Did not expect that coming up. This actually reminds me a little bit of Winter Spring from World of Warcraft. I mean, they're both snowy zones with like frozen ice like this. Frozen lakes, I guess that's kind of where the similarities are, but they also have kind of crevices like this. Just more of a forestal thing, actually, in Lotro. Main one I want to get done, the sign of power command, just because that's kind of, don't need to use that. Got some good progress on that, to be honest, for how kind of useless it is. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with my recent deed progress since I've been focusing on them a little bit more. Still got a ways to go on a lot of them, but as far as like where I am, it's not too bad. Um, trying to still get southeast here. Okay, it actually looks like I can get through here. So probably about where I should stop and actually start killing some mobs. I'll do it at this chest and little bucket. Assume since the bucket's glowing, I'll need it for something. My link's just killed everything. Looting loot boxes again. Okay, so I need I do need these guard and baskets. Spider silk, I think tailors can actually use that. Just need to head a little bit deeper in. Probably, yeah, there are a couple more baskets right here. Fortunately, I'm still pretty tanky, so I can handle this. It actually gives me a time to get an actual use out of Wisdom of the Council outside of just using it for the deed. And this is a time I would actually use uh, draw power. Power, yeah, power of knowledge. Oh no, my Link's died. Try to heal him real quick before he did. It didn't work out too well. Okay, get another basket. I'll need one more actually after I get this other one as well. Got 100 barrels. Nice even amount. 
So I still need to, what do I need to do? Discover if Jaka, oh there's Jaka. So I just need to kill him actually. And see if he carries an antidote. Oops, I didn't even know I targeted the wolf. I meant to actually target Jaka himself. Guess another one I should be using is Windlore. Although I feel like just spamming those, switching to yellow line for a minute and spamming those skills might actually be more effective. Or switching to a spec where I also get inner flame just to have all that stuff maybe go blue line and there might be some deeds still tied to skills and other specs that I don't even have yet um feel like I need to go around there for something I actually just need one more basket according to the map the chill to the bone yeah the basket's going to be on the other side uh but we can just run around here I don't think I've been trying to pay a little bit of attention to the baskets. There's one. I have one targeted. We can run to that one. Oh, there's another one right here. And then I believe I just, okay, I actually just needed to kill that one more mob. I think the main annoying thing about Knowledge of Cures, even though I can actually cast it on myself, besides the long cooldown, is just the induction and the long cooldown kind of combined. It's just a in very inconvenient skill, unless you actually need the remove the debuffs, which I haven't really needed to that much now that I'm higher level. And the debuffs aren't killing me as much. Trying, there we go. Not deep lore, but healer. I'm already up to 150, only 100 away. That's like three minutes just in inducting. And a lot of minutes waiting for a cooldown. Okay, so we just need to head straight north. I actually assume it's that. There we go. We're getting a lot of turn in. Should hopefully get some decent XP in return for this. Reloading my stream page since it went black. Um, it hasn't been updating for me. Slowly chop these branches. a little bit more north 88,000 XP from leveling I'm still getting 584 per kill which is kind of crazy could actually run into it be kind of viable I still think to run solo into goblin town and just kill a bunch of goblins Like, compared to what I was getting, I think I get about as much XP chopping the branches as I used to get per kill. And it's a really insignificant amount, but at that much, makes it a lot more appealing. And I still do have my extra double, so I'm getting like four times as much XP right now as normal. 
It'll all go back to normal tomorrow after I run out of that rested XP boost at least. I don't remember actually going inside for these quests. Actually, I take that back, I do now that I'm inside. Apply the Ice Fang Antidote to Thoragus. So I have six quests to turn into him, or at least six quests to interact with him with. That's a lot of physical mitigation. I'm probably finally upgrading my pocket item after all these years, or all these levels. That's a really nice dagger though. If I use daggers, I would think I'd want that. So I lose resistance, which is kind of sad because that's about 3% resistance, but 34.9% to 37.3% I'm just mitigating that much damage instead. Actually 11,000 per quest turn in, that is quite a lot. On use. That is a lot of morale it heals, I will give it that. An hour cooldown's not the most appealing thing, and I think my staff is overall better. Maybe his staff has a cool look, not really. And the stats on that necklace are horrible. Shield doesn't look too bad, it doesn't look too great either to be honest. Well I guess we're getting the staff. And we still get, wait. It's like I was thinking we still had one more quest. Thorkel has fallen. That's the guy, I think I stole his uh, mining thing. Um, what are those things called? Ores? Are they just called ores in this? I don't think they're called like copper vein, like ancient iron vein. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know how many quests he's talking about and... Um, is that all I got? Is there... I might actually go back in there make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't see anything that says interior quest location, but... I mean, I might have got all my quests that I need to go anywhere. I could have just finished this, which is all fine, but I was just making sure I didn't actually miss a quest in this quest chain. So it looks like it just kind of finished abruptly, which isn't bad. I don't think it was that abruptly. It was just I did a bunch of quests and turned them in, and that was kind of it kind of finish the story anyway, so we're already ready to head to Giant Halls, I think. Since we did the Heligrod and I wonder if these guys will give me quests for Heligrod, that's kind of what I'm thinking. That's why I'm not too keen on doing them like real quick and traveling all those places, although I do honestly have, um, I have Mithril Coins, I don't know if I want to spend like would it be one mithril coin each? Okay, one mithril coin each, honestly, I don't think would be too bad. I could do the Othricar North Downs one. And then I wouldn't even need the Rivendell one. I might actually do that. Because I have these mithril coins. I got them specifically for traveling faster. Um, Distant Relations, was that it? No, that's the Atli Arch hit. Honestly, I don't even think I need to do that one. I might do the Archet one just because that'd be an annoying thing to do. Uh, so we want... We'll try the Othricar one first. We'll see how this works. I don't mind spending one myth or coin to instantly travel to this quest right here all the way in North Downs. Okay, he didn't give me a quest though. I was expecting him to give me a quest for Heligrod. But only spending two Mythal Coins on just overall what I'm doing with these two quests I don't think is too bad. And I got level 45, so I can start my class quest now. And that's a convenient timing with me actually heading back to Bree to go to Rivendell just because I have that return to Bree. Although that's a... yeah, I probably should go ahead and use it. Actually, yeah, I'm kind of lazy, feeling lazy right now as well. 
Plus, I need something to spend my low trip points on, to be honest. I'm probably close to 9,000 again. Let's see. Oh no, I'm actually down to 85. 8555. I wonder what that outfit would look like, Dyed White. Looks like a nice wintery outfit. I would not spend 50 mythical coins on that. Let's see if there actually is a white die. There it is, okay. Kind of looks like an off-white though. I was hoping for kind of a pristine clear white like my elk. But, I mean, maybe there is gear that dyes that white. I don't know. It'd be like maybe Snow White if they made another dye, uh, another dye for that in this game. Usually, whenever I go to the... Usually, I don't take this entrance to the Lore Master Trainer. I don't know what wrong turn I took there, but I still got here. And for some reason, I just assumed I needed to talk to him. I actually don't. I don't know where my quest is. I just, like, assumed... Oh... Thorin's Hall in Ear of the Wind on the slope. Okay. I just assumed I had to talk to my class trainer, Embry. I don't know why. I guess the other class quests were like that. Ah, uh, we got all these Lore of the thingies. Yep. So we're good on that. Didn't actually need a visit here, but it's not too big of a deal. It do not take all that long. We can head, um, if I need to head to Thorin's Hall, I might want to do that before I go to Rivendell, because Rivendell's, like, the last stop I would make before Misty Mountains again, basically. See all these rings? Usually they go away if you're, like, way above level, but those are all low-level quests. Fortunately, not going to want that staff. It's very sad to see Heartwood go. It's one of my oldest items probably now. I mean, besides like my high elf ring, which scales with me. Wonder if level 45, if there are any gear sets that were level 45 or if they were all 50. I might look into that before we actually get back to questing, which I guess, um... I was thinking the stream would be just questing and doing none of this stuff. We're not as bad as some of the other detours we've taken, basically. And hey there, Helios2867. Uh, Thorin's Gate, that's where we want to go, right? I believe that is so. And I think I just need to go to the slope to Thorin's Hall and don't actually need to go in it. Maybe. Whoa, he's he's way back at the... I don't know what that quest text was talking about. He's way back at um, this area where the elf intro is. Elf and dwarf intro. Glad you caught a stream for once. I notice a lot of people seem to comment that they get notifications like right after my stream ends. And then they miss it. Um, it's kind of weird heading back here, actually. Normally I just don't head back here after finishing the intro, the elf intro. I don't even do it that much anymore. Or haven't made new elves, and usually I make high elves. So we got that one clash trait, just one clash trait point just for completing these two quests. Let's see what these two quests are. Collect Grimgore's matted fur, distasteful Corker emblems. That's a nice pocket item. It's got a lot of critical rating. I assume for me I'd prefer. I don't think the ring would be worth picking over that. Always nice to see these tail quest rewards. I'm not as familiar with the lore master uh, quest chain actually. That staff is nice. It's pretty standard though so it might be replaceable. The sword's also nice but 
the one I have might even be nicer because of the finesse mainly in the tactical mastery both in combination, but kind of, yeah, those are both pretty nice looking. I kind of wish you could get both for the cosmetics. So I don't know where these things are that I need. I'm assuming they're actually in Heligrod, um, because I saw something said Heligrod there. So this one is, this is actually Misty Mountains. So that's, that's where I'm going actually, Misty Mountains. So that's pretty convenient. And then the staves, um, Corker, near Heligrod. Okay, near Heligrod. I don't know if that means in Heligrod, but this is very convenient because I'm going, I'm questing in Misty Mountains anyway. So that was really nice to see. I will, I won't quite spend the mythical coin to travel all the way to Rivendell when I can go right here. I'm not going to be quite that lazy because I do have some stuff I can look at while on auto run with my broken mount foot things. Nope, and they're getting even brokener. Gust of wind. Hey, I'm already done with fire lore. Or not fire lore. Sign. It's uh, Wizard's Fire, actually. Not even Sign of Battle Wizard's Fire anymore. Fortunately, it still progresses the deed. I don't actually need to use fire lore. Blinding Flash. Got some, like, four on that. Knowledge of... Oh, Knowledge of Cures. Okay. It's, uh... There are two for Knowledge of Cures, actually. So we are going to Westbury... Really? I'm actually gonna try Michael Delving. This might be a long detour, but... If I go to Westbury, then I have to go to Southbury, and then I have to go to Rivendell. Maybe Michael Delving can take me straight to Rivendell. At least worth a shot, I think. Hopefully. Nope, no ribbon now. Okay, we actually get to take three travels here. Oh, I can equip my shoes now, assuming I want to equip them. I don't know, it's just kind of hard for me to quit bind on equip gear. I always want to try and save it or sell it, basically, but I think that one is worth equipping. My tactical master should be doing pretty good now, near 100%. 96.9%. Go to Southbury, and then I can go to Rivendell. Then we can make some progress. There's Rivendell. Should probably make sure I'm actually not missing anything. I don't think I am. And a convenient thing about me going back to Misty Mountains after Rivendell near the Heligrod area, I'm, a, I'm going to have to turn this like four quest quest in, if that makes sense. The quest to have me do these four quests that I'm traveling all around for is I'm going to go right back to Heligrod where it sounds like these quests are outside of Heligrod, at least one of them. I didn't actually look at the other one. Yeah, Court Kirk may be found near Heligrod. I don't know if that means I actually have to go into Heligrod. I can try near Heligrod outside. That'd be, again, pretty convenient. And then Grimgore's matted fur. Grimgore is Angmar, so that is kind of... Might actually have seen Grimgore a few times before. Fashas Lauren, that is... Um, as far as I know, yeah, it's right there. It even has a ring right where he is, so that's, that's not going to be too difficult. We have to talk to Elrond. One of the most annoying things in this game is going to Elrond's library so many times. Actually, there is that one guy. He's actually in Elrond's library, so I guess it still counts as going to Elrond's library. Um, that was more annoying than specifically Elrond. I kind of want to play really long tonight. I wasn't planning on, I wish I kind of got to streaming earlier, but I've just been busy getting some other things done so I even could stream this evening. Oh, and I'm level 45, meaning I can do the Goblin Town Throne Room. 
and I can get those quests for it outside Goblin Town, so I might run and grab those quests if I need to go in that area again, or I can just travel there. I do have my map home right there conveniently as well. So many things lining up, it seems like, in this stream. After some rough travels, I guess, at the start. What's that dude's name? He was the one I kept needing to head to. Um, for the Misty Mountains quest, actually. Okay, so now I have find the entrance to Elagrod, so that quest isn't even actually done. It's the exterior quest location. Interior quest location. Oh, it wasn't this Urden wee guy. It was... Yeah, Delaros. That was his name. We kept having to go to him from that Misty Mountains chain, and it was kind of annoying. More annoying than Elrond specifically has been. I feel like I should check some of these quests because I'm level 45 now. I might get some level 50 quests in a lot like this one. Glorfindel. Didn't I just talk to him? Oh, I guess not. And this Barbethnir guy. Elrond. Again, level 50 quest though. To Imlid. Well, I guess we're talking to Elrond. I guess I should have checked this stuff all out here. And we get to run all the way up. It's actually, I guess, not too bad. It's just a little bit of walking. Then we can use the exercise here. Help Gimli with his preparations, help Legolas with his preparations. I feel like this is something that's not really going to... I'm actually get, going to get nowhere with it, basically. I don't even know. I assume Gimli and Legolas are in the... Oh, this is the Rip... No. You hear the Bruin and Rivendell? So that one's for the Rift. Um, what's the one I'm working on right now? Volume 2 Prologue? Okay. Yeah, I honestly don't know where Legolas and oh, they're in one of the guest rooms along the along oh there. So, uh, yeah, it should have that on the map where they are. I don't know if they're actually in Rivendell. I think they are. Yeah, they're in the the guest rooms. I guess that's what it's called. But we can stop by them along the way as well. Go ahead and start this rift quest set. Into the rift, okay. You are Ellen. Oh. So into the rift is Okay, so actually it would be another convenient one to actually use Mithril coins on, get an instant travel to right outside the rift, it sounds like. Rift of Nurs Nurs Kurbashi or something. Actually, ooh, I did get my trait point. So now I got improved sticky gore. That's one of the main things I want. But what is fumbling around with my keybinds? Has it here, right? Nerves Gashu. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna go all the way around here, and maybe finally, eventually, get back to some sort of questing in Misty Mountains. That actually wouldn't be a bad run to join. Um, did I? Oh, I guess I did miss that little turn. But we will try to stick to questing. If it gets late and there's like another group that forms maybe for something more appealing than just Great Barrel, I might join. But right now, at least, I want to knock out some of these quests and get kind of 
might even have to start doing Eregion and finish Misty Mountains. I don't know. But we're just getting, like, so many quests here. Northwest. Talk to Aristor. I don't, like, I don't know what's going on with all this stuff. Aragorn. Don't need him. Oh, there's Gimli. Talk to Gluin. So I need to talk to Aristor and help. Talk to Gluin. Where is Aristor? Guess he's right there. Glowing, I assume, is Misty. Yeah. We'll be headed there anyway. Now we get to go way back around again. Getting a lot of hooked ward claws. So I have the Hunter and Minstrel and Guardian and Runekeeper ones. I actually think. Now that I think about it, I think you can buy the non-specific items you need. We still need to check the skirmish camp anyway. Where's my class quest? Here they are. You might actually be able to buy the corker stabs and corker emblems from the skirmish camp. Maybe that's other class uh, quest items, but I know you can buy stuff like these. I don't know if they're actually what I need. These are kind of more generic names, I think, than my corker stuff that I specifically need from near Heligrod. But maybe. Uh, what way do I want to go? I want to go up this way. Think, yeah, I can get around this way. What time did I start this stream? I think I started, uh, I had some issues with my mic getting it set up, so I think I started around uh, 9 o'clock when I was actually scheduled. Uh, hopefully I can get up this way. Okay, I thought I saw that ramp, like, go right um, northwest where I needed to, but... Mm, okay, I think I just missed it. Talk to Galdor. See, I have to do all this talking to people that I don't... It's not that exciting for quests, and maybe this is stuff I, that's, like, good to get done anyway. It's just not the most appealing to me running around Rivendell here. Doing this, but we'll see. If it's not, it might not actually be too bad. It's just I'm kind of having visions of it getting too bad. And I kind of want to get my turn-ins, at least, for them. I don't want to be so bad if each like part was a turn in and get the XP and whatever rewards. I could actually, I think, um, at this point, technically join a Heligrod run. I don't know if anybody will accept me, but if you at least uh, accept the invite after they launch it, I think at level 45 you should still be able to enter. Again, I don't know if somebody would actually take me unless it was people I know or just regularly nice people. Because you should be able to handle, I would think, a full Heligrod. A full group would, full 24 group, even like a, that. Bring the white knife to Legolas. Okay, this looks like an actual turn in. It has a check mark, so we will hold off on turning that in until we get done with some of our Misty Mountain stuff, which reminds me. Really quick, I want to run to the skirmish camp. Now, just because I'm level 45, I also want to mind checking the class quest items while I'm there. Okay, I want to make sure I saw the sword in my inventory wasn't actually useful. So I want to check level 45 gear, maybe some of the classic vendor. I don't know if there is a 45 set. It could be level 50, which it likely is, but some of the things in this game are kind of weird like that. I wouldn't be too surprised if there is a level 45 set. So you can't get the level 43. That doesn't make sense. You can't get the level 43 skirmish gear until the level cap raises to 53. Yeah, that, does, that just doesn't make sense at all to me. 
they have some weird restrictions here. It looks like they've kind of... Uh, is this good guy? Curiosities? Mm, hook door claws. So I am looking for corker stuff. Again, I don't know if corker is... Yeah, it doesn't look like... Where's the, like, lore master one? Yeah, so these aren't the ones. I might need these later, I'm guessing, for my class quest, but don't need them yet, at least. I think I only worked on these class quests on my Runekeeper and Warden, actually. Uh, Numinos? Nope. Nope. Oh, definitely not. Can't do that. You can't. Can't. I don't know why the Helograd sets level 60. Uh, 4k. King at this, but I don't think there's anything useful from it. Nope. Probably not Halls of Night. Fornos, this is what I was. Okay, this isn't this isn't actually what I was thinking. You can't even barter for it anyway, but more along the lines of what what I was thinking. Uh, there's some more interesting stuff from this vendor, but I don't think I can use any of it. Okay, I think that's good that I checked though. Um, make sure there isn't a nice sword from here or anything. Actually, I already bartered for that sword. And don't see a staff. Okay. I just wanted to check that again because they do have some like level 55 set, which is in the middle of Moria, I think, and just some other kind of random sets, maybe even level 70, right in the middle of Rise of Isengard, I think I've seen. So I thought there was a possibility, like the piece of gear I have, which is basically a level 50 set, is level 45. So I thought that would be good to check in. I got to check the class items, but for now we go to Glowin's camp and do the Gimli's part of the um, Rift intro quest or Helograd intro quest. It's so nice having improved Sticky Gore now. I don't like dislike the look of Sticky Gore, but the icon for improved Sticky Gore looks kind of improved. One way to put it, at least. Okay, talk to this guy. So now I just need to talk to Gandalf and Rivendell and hopefully that'll be straight to Gimli right after Gandalf because they're right next. No, Gandalf isn't right next to Gimli. But Gandalf, I mean, hopefully it is still just stay in Rivendell after that, not like back to Glowin. So we get to travel all the way back to Helograd again. Got a couple different things to do here. Find the entrance to Helograd first of all, and along the way maybe get some Corker stabs and Corker emblems. And then Grimgore, I wouldn't mind. Let me go ahead and actually, I don't need to track these three quests. That quest. I want to track the Corker stuff. See if it actually has it. Oh, it actually has it, like, way outside of Helograd here. Like, when I was thinking near Helograd, I was just thinking those mobs right next to Helograd, so there might be some other mobs around this area that drop the Corker stabs and Corker emblems I need. I don't know, I think it's just exciting to actually have some more stuff to do here. I was thinking maybe the Yetis did, but they don't look like it, or the Orms. I think, have I seen Ingmarum? I'm trying to remember. No, it's th they're they're called Corker. That's right. I forgot they were actually called Corker. So there are a ton of them right outside Helograd, if I remember correctly. They're all the mobs way up there. So yeah, that really just lines up nicely my class quest. I'm pretty happy with that, and I can get I can go to Angmar. Would honestly take a little bit to travel to. I might. This dude's gonna tap those. Um. Fast Shas Lauren. 
it's not it's not that it takes like way that long to get to but to go there to kill one mob is honestly a little bit annoying like if i had more than one mob to kill in ingmar it wouldn't seem so much of a waste of time just going there to kill one mob and leave because ingmar is kind of an adventure away you have to go all the way i haven't even been tested out on, on this character i probably should have done that while i was in north downs but I have to go all the way to Stelden and then travel to the Bastash Lauren. What's that town called? I don't want to look at it yet. I'm trying to think of the name. Agamar? Let's check. Don't, I actually don't think that's quite right. Augir. That? I thought he looked a little bit different. I want to kill him. He's probably for like somebody else's quest, but I still want to kill him. And we're finally killing mobs again, at least. That's like a big step up from all the talking we've done. New skirmish available. Probably referring to Goblin Town Throne Room. I wouldn't mind trying that solo. It might just be fun for the XP while it's double XP, to be honest, as well, but... I wouldn't mind trying that just a little bit, see what I could do with it. I'm probably going to try to get most of the kills on my way back. I don't know. I assume they like have an actual regular quest drop rate, and I don't need to worry about killing as many of these mobs as I can, but speaking of killing as many of these mobs as I can, it's actually pretty easy, and I can do all this stuff while running. I don't even need Wizard's Fire anymore, that deed. Plus, my links can do some killing. Actually, I have a use of knowledge of cures to remove my whatever. I don't think a disarm. Maybe that would prevent a lore master from casting for some reason. I don't think it would. Some of their spells actually use their staff, though. I actually think I'm supposed to be using my staff, but just sometimes bugs like that. Like, I played a little animation of putting my weapons away even though I never had them out. So yeah, I'm, these aren't dropping at too low of a rate, so we should be good on that. So I can't read your name because it's Russian, but as far as how many active players Lotro has... So, Lotro has 12 servers right now. Two of the servers, the two legendary servers particularly, are the most active, and they usually have, um, they, that's 516 non-anonymous players online in the game, so peak population might be closer to a thousand players, and there could be a couple hundred more that aren't actually showing on that. Um, so somewhere in the upper hundreds would be how many active players may be on at a specific time but there are a lot more players outside of that Did that really not like give me a quest or anything after it it just says the ancient fortress you will want to find friends that is true you will want to find 23 friends actually before heading into Heligrod. i expected there to be a little bit more before it was just like the entrance was kind of sudden Um, but back to the active players, there are probably more players than that. That's just how many are on at the specific moment, which is kind of how it's been for the past couple weeks. And again, there are more servers, but like the actual in-game population will reflect each server, and the total amount of people on might be like in the few thousands, but they all aren't on the same server. Okay, I only actually need two more of the Quirker emblems, and then I can start searching for Driftclaw. I can actually do this and not pull the mobs. That's that's pretty. That's pretty nice in a way, but I also actually want to pull the mobs. I'm just trying to get my sign of power command deed progress while I do that.
basically spend the rest of this fight healing, letting my pet kill and... No, oh, what? Is that a disarm? Might have been a disarm. I just didn't think a disarm did that much lore masters, but it might. Okay, got everything I need. Now I just need to kill a specific mob right there, which I'm headed to anyway, eventually. I don't know, I'm kind of doing a lot of running around. This is taking a decent chunk of time. There's Raylug again. Didn't really get anything for killing him, but he might be just one of those, like, class quest mobs, even, that another class needs. Oh, well, I can actually use my level 45 potions now, though. I was gonna say I have a lot of them, but I can actually use a lot of them now. And I guess we're gonna kill these mobs anyway. Wow, I'm down to 94 XP for that kill. I guess these mobs are also a little bit lower level than what I was killing. Um, I don't know why I am using my mount. I guess I have one minute cooldown on my map home. I don't know if I quite want to use my map home yet. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of bummed that I have to go to Ingmar, I guess. So I have the, I have to go to Rivendell. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I have to go to Rivendell. If I go to Rivendell, I can go ahead and go to Ingmar. And get that part done and then go back to Misty Mountains. My milestone will be done then. And I can swift travel around to the High Crag and go to Giant Halls and do some of those quests. But I don't want to... I kind of want to naturally get my class quest done while at the Giant Halls questing anyway. And I want to do like... If I did that, I would still want to do Giant Halls today and kind of get towards finishing Misty Mountains because there is the double XP and I want to get utilize that as much as I can, basically. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I will travel to Rivendell and then I'll just head back to Misty Mountains with my map home and then swift travel to the High Crag and do basically do the Giant Halls, try and solo that area a little bit. Might be a little bit tough soloing it, actually. Oh, and I will I will take a little intermission and do Goblin Town Throne Room, just see how much of it I can handle and have some fun there. Okay, so we got a few things left to do. Probably try and get it done in like an hour. I don't want to be going way too much longer because I'll need to sleep tonight some. So we gotta go all the way to Elrond, don't we? Uh, we're working on the forward quest. I just, I kind of want to get my class quest done, but there's no, like, high priority to do those, I guess. That's just kind of why I want to get that done now that I got them, but I will have time to do them later. And now's a good time to do Um, giant halls, I think. And we, yeah, we do need to go to Elrond. Or not Elrond, we need to go to the last homely house, but we need to go to Gandalf. He's in Bilbo's room. And then hopefully it should be Gandalf straight to Gimli, I would hope. And that'll be, that'll actually be two turn-ins and maybe even three. There's a minstrel. I don't know if I've seen this minstrel update. I don't know if this is just a post somebody made, um... 
or if this is like the actual changes that will be coming up to Minstrel. Uh, yeah, this is from Bastion, so some quick takes to the Minstrel lines. Not a major revamp. Looks like they'll be buffing the healing some. Um, so yeah, that's going straight to Gimli as far as the quests I'm doing here. Kind of trying to read that forum post I copied. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be all that much besides some changes to skills to kind of improve the rotation, basically. Okay, so now we're ready to head to the guest house again. The guest rooms, that's what it was called. I didn't think it was called the guest house. There's probably a better way to go there. I don't know, I just feel like going all the way up that kind of large slope is a bit of a waste of time, but kind of got to go up there anyway, I guess. So we'll go this way. Wait. Let's talk to Gonidiot. It's actually, this is actually, okay, a Thorog? It might be for Thorog specifically. It's kind of nice, um, a lot of other games it seems like you have to do a whole big change to get to, like, raids and get raid quests, but, or even in this game later in the game it just feels like that, whereas I was just, I'm level 45 and I was able to pick up a level 50 raid quest just like that and has some nice rewards from it. And again, I think I could technically join a group now, um, the way they have it working. So it's not like, um, I can't even actually do it yet. I could actually do it, which would be nice. Get a title from it as well. I'm guessing that pocket item with a critical rating, the on-use armor value and morale, and mainly the mitigations from that would be pretty nice. The will and fate and maximum power one is not that good. Okay, Gimli. Okay, Gimli, if, it, if this game wants to work. Only 4,200 XP from that? That's honestly a little bit sad. So now we get to go all the way back to Elrond. I wonder how many quests uh, the Giant Halls has, like if um, if I just got like a few quests to introduce the area and that's all they give you, that'd be kind of neat I think. Although I would hope for more quests just for my character's sake. Or if there are actually, it's a larger quest chain that I'll have to work on for a bit. I don't know. I feel like I'm making like such quick progress after the slog of Evendim that had 10 parts for as far as my streams go, which is almost half of my streams were solely in Evendim questing. Kind of just doing so many different things now. Um, so we are going to Elrond, which means we need to go way upstairs to Elrond's library. These 86, these are the purple reputation items. I don't actually, I think I checked and I don't really want Rivendell reputation for anything in particular. I think I'm accidentally messaging that guy. Oh, maybe. There we go. I don't know, maybe my latency is a little bit high. It actually is 322. Mark of the Fellowship. That's again not a bad pocket item, it doesn't look like a lot of resistance. Okay, so talk to Elrond and see if the company, uh, and see the company off on their secret errand. Okay, this looks like it will be an annoying quest to be honest. So this is, um, what is this? 
quirk her? So that's that looks like that'll be a quest back at um outside Helgra with the corker. So yeah, I'm gonna begin this board. I do need to actually turn off my heat real quick because I don't want that fan blowing right now. And yeah, I'll be just be back in a second. Okay, that should kick off in um, just a minute, but as far as this quest goes, hopefully it doesn't take too long. I feel like it's kind of going to be a big, long, cinematic type quest. Can't even talk to all these people I need to talk to. Hope oh, I can talk to some people. Same wise Gamgee. Air or that was an Aragorn. Now oh, Aragorn. Now Boromir. Now I can watch their departure. That that part seems pretty easy. We'll go, we'll hide the UI a little bit. Get a better viewing experience, I guess. I don't know, I just feel like I always have nothing to do because I'm not the biggest into Lord of the Rings lore as far as these go, but sometimes I still like reading their conversations. Now they're just not, not really doing anything. Oh, that's Gimli. It's a talk to Gandalf. Maybe now I can watch their departure. I have so many of these scroll cases. I wonder if they, if people like, if there's any use for people to really buy them because it is the last tier or because you get so many, maybe they're really cheap. Because I feel like on my tailor, um, I'll be using those more on him, but I only have 18 because I've been sending them to him. But I think... I don't I just don't really have much use for the others right now at least. Yeah, I still have a lot of old food. Kinda at first it was really useful, but then they updated the gear so my gear is now good and the food's still useful, it's just Relative to what it was, the gear was, or the food was like multiple pieces of gear equipped for me. I can't even actually go watch them. Well, if that fits done, I'm happy. That was actually pretty quick for one of those. I'll give credit, credit, credit where it's due. As far as these quests go, even though I generally don't like them. So now I get to decide. This pocket item is better than the one I have. I just don't know if resistance is more worthy than physical mitigation. I think that much resistance will be. Back on the resistance train for a little bit. Raid Servants of Angmar. So another raid quest I get to just accept. Very nice. So now we're ready to head, I guess I should double check I don't actually need to go here. So why do I need to talk to Eladon? And where is Eladon? Isn't he in Thornhead? Why do I need to go to Thornhead? Might actually have discovered that. I was just there at those Corker too. <laughs> um... What was the other quest I got, or did I not get? Oh, the save Riftvale quest. Troll Shaws. That is a raid quest. Is 
southwest of Rivendell. Oh, he's by Giant Valley. Well, I think um, the best thing I have to do here is just return to Binder Hall in the Misty Mountains and get working on my level 45 elite quest in the Misty Mountains along with that class quest right there. I've just gotten so many varied like raid, um, raid quests, class quests, story quests. Just so many different things. At least it's all questing so far, but I do want to take a little break and try out Goblin Town Throne Room. I won't get the quests even though I'm right near them because I will probably be doing that with my kin later. That's what I'm planning on doing tomorrow, actually. But I do want to see how much XP it gives, first of all. <laughs> and, well, actually, that's second of all. First of all, how well I can do it. And second of all, I want to see how much XP I can get. And how much loot and like gold and stuff. That stuff's always nice. I feel like Goblin Town would be a pretty fun farm at least. I don't know, it's probably not that useful as far as like other stuff this game has now, but for a more vanilla style of farming. I can really feel my tactical mastery, just how much stronger it is than even just a few levels ago. My skills are doing so much more damage. There's really honestly not too much to this Goblin Town throne room though. And I have so much AoE that stuff like this isn't too much of a problem. But yeah, as far as like the total amount of mobs I'll be killing in this, it's probably not that much. So per run, like the XP I might be getting in these individual times I do it might not be all that much. But for how quickly and how dense these mobs are and just how many of them I can kill. Quickly, that's not that bad, I don't think. I might actually grab the quest because even if I do it with my kin later, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal if I've already completed the quest. It'd just be something extra to do then when I do do it, but... Hey Papa Sears, and yes, I am red line right now. I could actually try, I guess, um, yellow line if this is too difficult, but I don't really see me having many issues. There is... I don't remember exactly what there is, but there might be an elite master we need to kill. But as far as these like regular groups, this stuff's pretty easy right now. Not even really giving me enough time to work on my deeds. Should probably check my progress on some of these, see if I need to stop using any. It's getting close. So I finished sign at power command, I can get that back to normal. Yeah, alts are, I always like playing alts, so I always see alts as a good thing to do after you finish out a lot of this stuff on your main character. The last fragment, I'm not as familiar with that. Is that like one of your class quest items? Yeah, my warden even has nice DPS, at least my leveling wardens. I don't actually have one at level 50. I have three wardens that I am leveling at the moment. Two of them are in their like upper 30s level range and then The one is like mid 20s on this server. That stun was pretty rude.
Okay, a pocket item permit. My lore master got a lot better actually at level 20. So Pierce is doing pretty good at level 17. That's actually good, I think. Um, I don't know. These Bogarts, they're kind of annoying because they have so little morale. I don't really want to use Sticky Cord on them, but I also have enough morale that just, well, I guess my Link's killed in there, but that just Sticky Cord isn't enough for them. Or, what? I don't know, just Cracked Earth isn't enough for them, but they have too much morale, I don't want to use Dicky Gord. I'm not used to getting stunned like this. I have to use a potion and... Kinda kite a little bit. This is one of the tougher things I've done so far, I guess. I'm not having too much trouble with it, but I do gotta watch out with the stuns and pulling a lot of mobs, which I haven't had to worry about at all, basically. There's a signature. Okay, so we actually... Signature? Yeah, we do actually have an elite master here, the Great Goblin. And then, I don't know if this one... I know the Erebor instance. Seed of the Great Goblin, I think that's what that one's called. You can go down there and do bosses and stuff. I have done no essence gear farming actually, because this is still my highest level character actually, I'm kind of behind on leveling my ults, which I was actually thinking my ults would be way higher than any character I do like this in a series. So yeah, that one's, I'm way behind on leveling so I haven't even gotten to doing raids or most of my kin has not also, which is kind of a factor I haven't really had. Well, a ton of motivation to level up and get there since my kin's not quite yet working on that content. Okay, I actually somewhat feel the need to debuff this guy and do some more mastery things. I don't know if he can be stunned, probably... I don't know. I accidentally opened the Lotro store and that kind of messed me up, but I can... Not my Raven. Should be able to summon my links and he can get aggro right back again. Okay, this guy is not immune to stuns. Yeah, with my pet tanking, I'm just not really having any issues with him, at least when I'm actually doing stuff that's useful. Got a lot of dots, and can you draw power here? Use a morale potion to be safe. I have plenty of them. Yeah, having a kin where they're actually on when you're on as well is a good thing. So we got a level 50 necklace. It's better than my necklace. My necklace has agility. I think it just had uh, the Vitality and Morale made it more useful than whatever I had. It's also basically a 30 minute cooldown potion. I'll have to keep in mind that I have that. The hammer's a uh, bind on equip. Okay, I guess I'll kill these three mobs. There's not much else here that's interesting. I kind of wanted to defeat that elite master that I thought was at the end and now this group here. This group should actually, even though it's Oh, it's an elite and two signatures, then yeah, it should be easier. This will be kind of similar stuff I think I have to do in the um, giant area, giant halls, I think it's called. Hopefully my pet can do a little bit of tanking here. Otherwise I will have to, yeah, I'm going to have to kite this more than I wanted to. I wanted the signatures to die before I had to do something like this. Uh, I want my cat attacking that one. Stop for just too long. If Wisdom of the Council wasn't off cooldown, I would have like no problem with this right now. It's about to be, so we're all good. And I got a crit from it, so it just healed me all the way. Here, 
my silence. That fight was honestly a little bit annoying, but... Uh, so yeah, my build... It's, uh, actually, I was gonna say it's pretty simple, but... I have, a, like, some points and things. The next thing, I still... I'm trying to think what I would actually get next. Probably slow burn and dry kindling. I don't know if I want the fierce lightning from that. But yeah, that's what it... Keep pressing L for some reason. J. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But I got a little bit less than half a bar from that. So that wasn't too exciting overall, the total XP I got. But it was still fun to do. I might grab the quest actually and go do it again real quick. It's a fun thing you can also do if you do happen to be able to solo it. Even the outside area is just a throw up and since there's not much else in this without skirmishes just have a thing to do to toss up and kill some mobs. It is pretty convenient with that. And I can see if, I don't know if I can get loot again, but some of the things like that have cooldowns. I don't know if they still do. It's like a daily reset. I don't even know if that still exists in the way the game is right now, but if it does, I might not be able to get loot, but hopefully I could. Though the problem is it's level 50 loot. The quest camp, I believe, actually it might be in this little area right here. I think they're all like straight for the Goblin Town throne room. A great goblin defeat the great goblin, okay. Oh, actually, a few quests here. Is that in? Oh, that is in Goblin Town Throne Room. Is this in Goblin Town Throne Room? I might not actually have been through all of Goblin Town Throne Room. Because, yeah, there might be more on the other side. I didn't actually fully explore it. We can toss it up again real quick. This might not actually have reset. That could be a little problem here. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can somehow reset it. I don't know if I can. I guess um, one way would be actually doing another instance, but... We'll launch this. I don't know if like getting a little bit of progress on a quest or something would do that. Maybe I will just kill a white real quick, see if that helps reset it. I know sometimes you can set up an instance, then run out, and then... For some reason, I, I was, I was going to say, I feel like I should be mo doing more damage. I don't know if lightning strike was resisted, or what happened there. But sometimes you can just, like, join another instance and I'll reset. Sometimes it won't. Should be good to do it again. Yep. So I don't even know what are the quests I need to do here. They're all to defeat boss type mobs. Okay, there's actually a Kiosh. But I'm wondering if I do actually have to go to the pit for any of these. or not because I don't know if you can go there in this throne room but I guess if I if the quests um, for the mobs I need there if they're down there I guess I can we got one of them though that one's already ready for a turn in so that's nice I also didn't explore what's actually beyond here. I assume the boulder takes you out of the instance, but maybe it doesn't. 
a per se rotation um one thing in general with the lore master is you want to alternate burning embers with your other skills usually whenever you can gust of wind or your strongest other skills it doesn't always apply but as far as like what I mean by it doesn't always apply is like me just playing solo here and killing mobs real quick you don't really have a chance to like develop your full rotation or anything to see how it looks out um, I want to kind of get most of these groups like I'm pulling with wizard's fire there if you're actually playing in an instance and wanting to do a rotation you want to alternate burning embers with your other skills usually your strongest skills or gust of wind and gust of wind is something you always want to use when burning embers is up and then Light of the Rising Dawn is nice for solo, but usually Lightning Strike is actually better DPS wise. And Cracked Earth is more of a filler one. But also can be good for AoE. Staff Sweep as well, AoE when it's available and you're in melee range. I'll go ahead and clear this area out just in case I do have to kite a little bit. Do have Wisdom of the Council off cooldown. Which is always nice to have off. I'm also, as far as like the skills I'm using and specific stuff I'm using right now, I'm trying to get some progress with my class deed, so I'm using some skills. Probably shouldn't always be used as often. Mainly the debuffs actually, which I'm capped on Sign of Power and Wizard's Fire, so I'm not really using those as much anymore. To stun him while I can. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to resummon my links. I was going to say I could try to heal him, but I only have that one heal with the 30 second cooldown. It's not going to do too much. I've really noticed the improvement from Improved Sticky Gourd, though. Getting a lot more Burning Ember stacks has been nice. I'm trying. Oh, I actually need a heal. That's why I love Wisdom of the Council. That's why I don't want to just keep using it. I feel like this has been a tougher fight than last time. I don't know. Or I think my links had aggro a lot more last time as well. Maybe I'm just doing too much DPS. Okay, got that done. Why is... Is that because it's unique? Or... Yeah, it can only have one unique item. Got a shield. Not the most exciting. Oh, that's a bind on equip shield. And it requires loyalty rank 6, so that's, that's not too exciting either. So there is Bogad. I do need him. So we were able to successfully do this fight last time, but... Also, I had to use Wisdom of the Council last time. Um... I don't know if they were immune to the root from Cracked Earth, but yeah, Cracked Earth does root. Probably should use that on these mobs, actually use my days. I was actually thinking about I was going to have to look at my skills for a second just to see what I have because I don't have the cushion of Wisdom of the Council to fall back on, so I might actually um, daze the elite here. I need to use that skill anyway. Two signatures is no problem to deal with. I feel like back at around like level 30 something I could have dealt with something like this very easily. I still can deal with it really easily, I just have to actually use a daze on the elite. Back when my bog guardian just did significantly more damage. And I could use like Lightning Storm or something, but this mob, I'm having no trouble with him right now. Ok, 
I got that done. So now we just, I need to find these two other mobs. I don't know if I should fall in the pit and see, but I kind of want to see what's on the other side of this boulder at least. There might actually be another room as well. Guessing this is going to take me out. Yeah. Let's go back in. Hopefully this time it didn't reset. Uh, so we need just this one? Okay. Um, I don't think it's reset. Because I think I killed some of these mobs in this area. Okay, my screen just went black for a second. The screen I have like Okay, my HDMI just got loose. Um, this is the one I had OBS on, so I just... And my stream on, so... There we go. Okay. We're still all good on that. Um, so yeah, I think... I know you can go to the pit in the other instance, the Erebor instance. I'm just less familiar with this Goblin Town throne room. This instance that I'm doing right now. If both of those guys, Horm's Handler, Horm and Horm's Handler basically. But what happened was you'd go down here and it'd trigger it, so here's Horm, the pit beast. I'm guessing I need to kill his handler afterwards then. I do want to read some of my links. Actually put my debuffs on him. Be useful. That would have been helpful. I think that made a big difference for the Elite Master fight last time because the my plus 15% attack duration, I just take quite a bit less damage during that. I don't want to get sticky gore on him as well. And then he just has like a big 1200 crit on my links, which takes up all of his health basically. Or I guess half here, he had some damage. I'm really surprised a lot of these bosses can be stunned. It's been quite helpful to me. Okay, it can be stunned again. Oh, actually. Oh, I was about to use the Wisdom of the Council out there, the potion. But I waited just a little bit too long on both of those. Actually, it takes me way out here. Okay, let's try that again. Fix my camera. I'm just gonna, if I need to kill any mobs along the way, I can do that. So I had all these orcs chasing... Oh, I wonder if you're supposed to go this way. That kind of makes more sense. I want to go this way and kind of go, go, I guess, the more proper way here. But I'll try and do that boss fight better. I probably... Could have done some things more efficiently. Well, and actually used uh, the potion and then wisdom of the council. Oh, here's Horm's handler. We'll go ahead and just pull this elite with these other mobs on me. Why not? Okay, where's my links? That's actually. I need to get my links here, otherwise I will actually die doing this. Where? Oh, I guess my links died. We're taking care of this problem right here. I'm just so... Ju I used to be able to play the Lore Master a lot better when I actually had to use a lot of my CC and Lore Mastery stuff as I call it. Back when I actually had to use that, but now I've got to know the practice of... And also, with just the clunkiness of some of the Lotros, you can't use that while moving those type of things and you have to face the target when you're already facing the target. I guess I'll destroy that. 
That is locked. Okay, so I guess I do have to run around and jump and all that stuff. But I used to be in practice with a, a lot more on my old lore master. When he was actually around this level in Ingmar doing group content solo. But that was back in the... I think that was back in Isengard days that I was doing that with him. Probably not Mirkwood. I don't know if there's much difference anyway between the difficulty between those two as far as like level 40 content in Ingmar goes. But right now this character, he's basically... He's very tanky. He's not nearly as tanky as he used to be. Back at like level 30. That was basically a tank then. Okay, I'm going to dismiss my Lynx and then resummon him as... Oh, this boss is already here. See, and I used that right after I stopped moving, but Lotro, it seems to always have this kind of big delay between when you have to actually stop moving and when the... when you stop moving and when the skills allow you to use them after stopping moving. I don't know if Cracked Earth, that might be useful here since my Lynx is gonna die, but I would want to... Okay, that's... Oh, I want to summon my Lynx. I want to kind of get him to sit in the sticky cord so I can pile all those dots on him. Should be able to get this done off and then go ahead and use my potion to be safe. Actually, Cracked Earth and get another root. Should be good now to, yeah, didn't really need to worry too much. So I got all those quests done, so that's good. Didn't get much loot from any of these guys. Uh, and mainly just got loot from the main boss, which is the one I killed first, actually. But yeah, that was kind of fun this time around, actually getting all the boss kills. Don't know what's in this area. Guess nothing. Guess this is the room he came out of. So that was pretty fun. Unfortunately, I did die that one time. But I got a little bit more lore mastery the second time around. So I'll turn these in and then, I guess, finally head back to the giant halls area. I at least want to get started on those quests and remind myself what I'm doing for them. I might not quite finish them, or I might depending how long they do take. Like the mammoth one, it looks like I only need to kill three mammoths for that. Defeat three specific mobs, post a sign. Sounds like pretty easy stuff, but those three specific mobs or maybe the mammoth things don't drop that often. The sign might be like way deep in a giant camp. I don't know. Just some possibilities for it taking longer because it does sound like those quests will be pretty quick. Maybe get level 46 this evening. What did I start at? If I started at 45, I was at the very start. But I think I started at 44, actually. The very start of 44. Yeah, I did start at 44 because I leveled up. Um, I don't actually think there is any useful quest reward for me. Very unfortunate. These both celebrate the same. I don't even know why it matters if I look at it. I guess I could put it in my wardrobe. Assuming you can put that type of stuff in, but... Again, nice jewelry that I don't need. I feel like the might and agility classes just get such a huge advantage with a lot of these items in the game. Well, us minstrels, lore masters, and rune keepers are left behind. And then this hat is actually, compared to the other quest rewards, I don't think too bad. It's just mine's a lot better. So we'll get that shield. And then again, might and agility, might and agility, and another might and agility. 
Okay, got those done, got Goblin Town done, I guess. Might still head back there tomorrow. Could be fun to do. Um, yeah, I need a head. So I need to head all the way to the High Crag. I think that would be the best way to get there as far as getting to the High Crag. I will take a swift travel as I slowly travel from my falling injuries. Maybe pick up some black ash branches along the way. That org, yeah, that org's gonna grow. I'm not gonna worry too much about it right now. Actually, I feel like I should be picking up a lot more. I only have 39. And I could just really use some for my woodworker. Okay, I feel like I'm always going on the wrong side of the mountain here, so I think I actually do need a seems so weird because on the map it looks like I can easily get there if I go I don't know I just it really does seem like I'm always going on the wrong side of the mountain now I'm not I don't think I'm going anywhere near that stable master I should have just gone to Grimbarg in the first place because it's a lot easier to get to it's kind of hard I think this is my first time actually playing Misty Mountains at night here on this character which is unusual because I play like pretty much everything I do seems to be at night in Lotro except Misty Mountains. It's been daytime most of the time it seems like. Yeah, it's midnight now, meaning we were playing during daytime earlier. Hi, Craig. I wouldn't mind joining that Anuminos group as well, but it's also getting late. I kind of want to get finished here. Just do a little bit more questing. Get level 46 would be nice. Okay, let's unlock, I think, Driftclaw. Yeah, that's the one on Misty Mountains. Uh, we need to go south here. Yes. And then track the three fellowship quests. Not the court cur. Though I will. I will want to do that quest eventually. Okay, so it looks like the three mobs I need to kill are kind of to the east there. Have something around the mammoths. The signpost, okay. I don't know if I'll get more quests. There might be a little area there for me to get some more quests. I think that guy just got that dwarf iron. Dwarf iron is actually something I could really use as well. Basically every resource I feel like I could really use, but dwarf iron as far as the artisan tier and then black ash branches as far as master tier. And that gets open so we can go through. I was kind of worried when I saw the gate that I'd have to like go around the other way. And there's our first giant. We'll just... Oh, so I do get new quests here. It looks like for finding the giant's table. Also, didn't consider that. I was just thinking with these three quests, but... Can definitely get more quests as well. Hey, Micah Mueller. Uh, guess I'll just pick these up while I'm deciding what to go to first. Giant Country? I guess that's pretty close, the giant table. I mean, that's like right there. Why not go to that? Mammoths? These are the mammoths I need. Kerr Olog Thrower. That's an interesting mob. Is that the giant table? Giant's table, rather. I still feel like a giant's table would be a giant table. 
thunder in the mountains stand upon the giant's table? I just did that. Defend the thunder lord. Defeat the thunder lord, okay. I was wondering, I was like, just wondering what I was defending. Um, I might actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I will have to be a little bit more careful here, so I'm actually going to like use my dazes on extra mobs and try to make sure my pet doesn't take too much damage, but I have been able to solo elite, saying that I just did that in the uh, Goblin Town throne room and since so something I can handle and this guy seems to be doing like really little damage in comparison to the other one. So we can go ahead and get started on the rock curler. Actually got a legitimate use of Light of Hope here to also get progress on the deed. Um. Okay, yeah, I got that done. I don't, yeah, I don't necessarily need to kill giants. I don't know what this white quest is, warning evil giants, so that's where the signpost is. All the way on this other side here, it's supposed to be like at the entrance to this, I think. Oh, and I got a deed done. Hopefully I can get this real quick before he hurls a rock at me. Or it just won't interrupt it, that works too. I'm trying to avoid all these giants. I don't see how I'm aggroing them from that far, but they're doing the damage on me, though. Here's ancient silver. Might be, maybe I've looted some ancient silver before. Yeah, I have looted some. I oh, hope I still have this one following me. Surprised they also follow for this long. Well, I'll just mine some of this dwarf iron. That's one I can use a lot. One's going to follow me this far. I'm just going to go ahead and kill it. Should, yeah, I was actually kind of worried about grabbing aggro from my links been for a long time my pets have always done way more damage than me but why is my lynx oh yeah I was wondering why my lynx was stopping attacking him because he wasn't like dazed or anything but he was actually rooted moonstone kind of familiar with moonstone it's been a long time since I've actually looted one I think I think it's basically like you have barrels and then it's a rare gem version of that. Okay, these guys seem to have a long aggro range so I kind of want to avoid them a little bit but also want to grab my resources while I can. Uh, the bear, I don't mind aggroing as much. Unless he brings like a train of mobs with him. Not meaning to just like jump from node to node, that one's not gonna work, but he's just half. Oh, I never did the signpost. I forgot that's why I headed that way anyway. I'm probably. I don't wanna like run all that way again, so I'm probably just gonna, if I aggro anything, just try and kill it. That one actually ran away pretty quickly. 
So I will try to do these three quests fairly quickly, but I'm probably going to be winding down soon, so there is a chance I might stop in the middle here in Giant Halls just because there is quite a bit to do and it might take a little bit just because I might have to kill a few elites. And they overall at least aren't the quickest things to kill. Uh, so I should probably think a little bit about the mammoths, but I've seen a lot of mammoths around, so I'm not too worried about that. Like here, yeah, here's a good group of them that I might uh, go ahead and try and kill some. Doesn't look like the mammoths count towards any deeds. Yeah, I got my tusk from that, so it seems like maybe just three mammoth kills and I'll be done with that quest, so it should be a pretty easy one. Though this one's only level 42, I guess that counts. I've only seen level 45 ones in this area, and the other low-level ones I've seen haven't actually counted. Yep, that one. Got the tusk green. Here's a level 45 on. I kind of prefer a level 45 just because it'll give me full XP. I don't know why he's running around all that way, but I don't mind because I get to do more damage before he attacks me. Yeah, 420 XP versus 136 is a fairly significant difference there. Black Ash Branch. I didn't really realize I had to go like this far away to get to where I needed for these extra quests. That one actually didn't drop the tusk ring. Again, I should see plenty more mammoths, I would think. So I'm not too worried about that. I kind of want to get these specific defeat the Thunderlord and these three specific mobs. I already also need Driftclaw for, that should be, I'm guessing, a bear for my Loremaster uh, class quest. Frost Giant. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's like a rare spawn, but... At least in this general area I'd expect on the map, it has the specific ring like right basically on top of my character, but I don't see Drift Claw anywhere. And it could just wander around kind of like that one in Angmar that I know I need for my other class quest. So that could be the case and I just need to kind of wait it out or search around a little bit well, like I'm doing, but... Yeah, we'll go ahead and maybe circle back here and, um, don't know the best way to go about this. There are so many resources here, I want to get them all, but I have, uh, giants chasing me right now. Here's Eeyore Bar. We'll go this way and hope I can get one of these, um, don't think it will be in this, but I can get some ancient iron here. Yeah, I'm either going to have to deal with multiple giants if I pull them here, or... Kill them one by one, which... Ooh, I have to kill an elite master for this quest. Oh, and I have three giants chasing me. Great. 
Okay, so we're gonna daze that one. The other one's running away, so that's good. And this one, my lynx decided to attack the one I dazed. Usually they like avoid him like the plague, but he got a bleed on the one I dazed afterwards. Still not the best thing, but I'm actually... The lynx is tanking fairly well, so I can actually get my AoEs and get some nice damage from the ground effect from Sticky Gourd and Lightning Storm there. So it probably even helped that they were both attacking compared to one giant. So I will eat some of my old low level food before I fight this elite master, but I shouldn't have much trouble dealing with him. Give me a little bit boost in this fight. I do have Wisdom of the Council off cooldown, and if I actually use my debuffs, uh, shouldn't be much of a problem, I want to think. Open, he's just gonna... <laughs> Thought I'd have a little bit of a chance to do something here. This one, he actually, okay, he's not immune to stuns. My, um, Sword and Storm, that might have just been on cooldown. The main thing I would really like out of this is if my Lynx could tank long enough that he takes a lot of damage from Sticky Gord. Yeah, I actually survived there pretty decently. Um, it doesn't look like the root from Cracked Earth ever took effect, but we got a stun coming on him. Oh, I should have waited on Light of the Rising Dawn, but I don't think that's much of an issue right now. Ooh, I'm gonna, yeah, I have to use, just to be safe, I mean, actually drop down to 400, okay. I'm getting knocked around a bit too much. We'll daze that one. I think he's gonna get undazed. I'm going to get stunned. I'm gonna use a potion just to be safe again because I might not even be the worst thing if I die because I have to travel quite a far way to get back to where I want to get for the other two giants. I guess two more elite masters I need to kill. Which we can try to do fairly quickly here. Getting, like, the XP I'm getting is pretty good. It's just kind of taking a while here. So I'm going to try to just run through it here. Um, that's going to aggro. Because I think I need to head this way anyway, and kind of being in this position might actually be helpful. There are just so many resources I want to get, but not the best idea to get them right now and try to fight like 10 giants at once. Uh, maybe I should have gone down the other path though. Well, I'm still not getting knocked off my mount, which just as I say that I get knocked off my mount. Yeah, I think I want to be on the other path. Maybe I can get to something from over here, but probably could. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, we'll just run out and see what that brings. Probably if I can go up here. There might be something I need all the way down here. Nothing's really loading, but... Maybe? Yeah, there he is. Mad for... Okay, let's see what mob's chasing me. And deal with this elite while waiting for that one. Because I'm still in combat with something else than this mob. Oh, I think it's the one I dazed earlier, actually. We'll daze him again. They give stun immunity after you stun a mob, but they don't give daze immunity, so you can, like, permanently daze a mob.
So and I might, I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion actually so the cooldown can get going. Use lightning strike. Yeah, this fight should be pretty safe now. It just took a little bit to get going, but that's the way it is with dots sometimes and burning embers specifically with the lore master. Though I'm kind of worried with this cast there. It could be something dangerous, but didn't actually have to worry about it. I want to try something. I want to see if his skills come off cooldown. They do, so it's actually a lot more efficient to keep dismissing and resummoning your links, I guess. Because his skills are really strong, so it's worth it. I think for that, but yeah, this fight, get my debuffs up on him. Basically another fun elite master fight. Do want to get Ancient Craft if I can, the debuff on that. And then while my Lynx is up, get him sitting in the sticky board a bit. Except my Lynx just died. That was actually a really nice stun I got. I don't know if that crit for a lot, but it seemed to take a decent chunk of his health. This is the part where I would have wanted him sitting in sticky gourd because he would have a lot less more out right now. Oh, my sword and storm, that didn't actually trigger. What's that? 36 seconds? Yeah, I guess the stun part of it just didn't trigger even though he wasn't immune to them anymore. Okay, that should be enough to kill him, yeah. Okay, one more named mob to kill, and he's right, I think he's actually right above me, probably. Yeah, I just need to find out how to actually get there. Um, I don't want to go, I don't want to go all the way around this way again, but I feel like that might take me there. I don't know, I feel like he's doing okay. Don't want to interrupt the bear stance be warning. Yeah, so there is another path I could have taken down here. I just think I need to try to message that guy again. I'm going to take a ton of damage here probably, but... Oh, that's not good. There was another path I could take, right? I just need to get on the top path somehow. Um, yeah, maybe I didn't actually need to go this way. Oh, I got stunned. Okay, maybe there is another way out here, out to the top path. I mean, I was able to target the mob. He still wasn't in my line of sight, technically. But maybe I could have tapped him from there. Maybe you can jump on top of the mountains, too, and that's the way you get there. Not the best thing, I don't think, to be doing while a frost giant is chasing me. So I'll probably try and kill that one real quick. Or not, he'll just stop chasing me, I guess. I don't know what mob I'm aggroed with. Oh, probably the one I dazed. There's so many black ash branches I'm passing up. And I'm still getting a lot of these uh, mining nodes. Okay, so I gotta decide what way I want to go. Maybe... I don't think I've been this way, or this was the way I just, I was just right here, I think. Yeah, so that's the mob I need. I'm not in range to tap him either. I just gotta find out how to actually get to the top layer. All I can find, seem to get in are these little, like, giant halls. That's the actual name of this place, giant halls. I didn't even think about that. Maybe this guy knows where to go. Oh, that's that bear stance, dude. I don't know, maybe... Okay, you can't jump up that one. I was gonna say, maybe you have to just, like, actually jump up all these and... I'll get you there. 
Uh, pulling these two is probably not the best idea. Oh, that Bjorning actually healed me. See you now. He does not need to do that. <laughs> I was like, I was perfectly content just running away there. Actually, I'll go ahead and need that one. But now I feel like I need to help him. I just don't see anywhere to get on the top tier there, like the top shelf to get Colgers. He's the only one I need and I kind of want to finish this now that I'm so close to being done. He's probably working on deeds right now. Oh, hey, actually, I'll let up. We'll thank him again. Got a barrel shard from that. Okay, maybe I have to go all the way up north around here and go like on that because I don't see any way down here. I do want to search for a drift claw or what's his name? Yeah, drift claw. Ah, oh, it's all the mammoth. I was like. A very quick glimpse looked like it could have been a giant bear, but definitely a mammoth. Is that Dr oh, that is Driftclaw. I killed Driftclaw a couple times before, actually. Just not when I needed him. But we'll go ahead and get the mammoth tusk ring as well while we're here I think uh, we'll get this one, this mammoth bull And I got it. That was a pretty quick fight, too. Okay, now, see if we can get... We also have to get the Thunder Lord. I actually forgot about that, so maybe I need to go to the top for him anyway. So I still need two mobs, actually. Thunder Lord and Colgers. Colgers, I know where he is. Thunder Lord... I mean, I have it on the map, but I actually know where Colgers is. Uh, so is there a path? an upper tier pathway up here. No, I'm like way back at the bottom. We gotta go way up there. I forgot I was going like way too far east. I'm still, when I get up there, just going to try to run past all the giants. I don't see... I think I can mine this real quick. Much reason not to. So we've actually gotten almost two levels this stream and still not finished with Misty Mountains and still... I think this is a really good level to start a Regian, actually. Assuming I'll still be 46 once I start it, I still, again, haven't finished Misty Mountains. I feel like it's getting basically to the end, but I do have a couple other quests that are going to come back here. I have, like, my class quests and just a few different things, basically. Um. Okay, that top path is so close. I think I just have to go this way. But I could even get level 47 before starting it, which would actually probably end up being too much XP-wise. I say too much kind of questioning because... Um, the servers, I know, without the 100% XP and with me not having any XP boosts or not using rested XP, or not rested XP, but destiny points for XP, for rested XP, um, it goes quite a bit slower. I know Evan Dem was getting... I can't even get out of this thunder. Maybe I can. It's just grayed out. 
I should have my revive for free if I do die, so I don't... I'd prefer to not waste Wisdom of the Council. I will go ahead and use a potion. Um, see, I like stop for a split second and it's still going to say I can't use it while moving, even though I'm actually not moving. But I want to stop and then use it real quick and then move, but it still thinks I'm actually moving. This would be a real nice time to have Fane Death. I don't know, does it, the class doesn't actually have that in Lotro, do they? Am I still on the top path? I feel like I'm going right back to, like, kind of where I was, but maybe I'm on the right area. Oh, I want to use Wisdom of the Council. Again, I don't mind dying because I can just revive for free. I don't want to give them a second to reset. I just really hope I'm on the right path here. Considering it kind of... Yeah, I'm on the right path. It just looked the same. Okay, I'm going to actually go ahead and... Did not mean to use that. Fortunately, it's a 3 second cooldown skill, so it's not big of a deal. But I do want to go ahead and pull and kill everything just... Not kill necessarily everything, but whatever's in my way just to be safe here. Because I don't have that revive for free to fall back on. Now I only have Wisdom of the Council, which requires my input and no lag or anything. And no weird Lotro things about not using it. Okay, that mob is basically dealt with. I do want to keep uh, eating my food and... At least get some use out of my food in an area I can really use it in. For some reason I thought he had like way less health. That'll do it. I guess the vitality and yeah. At least get some use out of this food before I replace it. So we'll go... I guess I'll have to kill both of these. It just takes kind of a long time to kill each elite. That's why I kind of try to avoid it. Actually, I'm just going to hit them with AoEs. That'll be much better. Rare time, I want to dismiss my links for a specific reason so his skills reset cooldown. See, there I wasn't moving, so he would have already been resummoned. Actually, just passed up where that one dude is. Is he like one level below me now? Okay, no. He's just kind of in this area. Actually, don't have these tracked anymore, but I can actually loot some of these now. I don't know why my links never came back when I used him again. Well, I'm actually over level for this. So again, for the late master fight, I just need to get Sticky Gore down and hope he stays in Sticky Gore for a while. I use Cracked Earth to be extra safe with that, although my Lynx is doing just fine right now. Oh no, go back attack. Wish there was a way to turn specifically off cancel attack root targets. Even just for like a quick fight to change a setting. This fight's actually going like really smoothly. I'll have to resummon my links in a second here, but I want to get one more cracked ruth before that. Oh, he's actually targeting me. Okay. I was wondering why my links hasn't died yet. Okay, got that. I do want to rich, rich, loot this rich ink shiner and deposit. 
Kidding, I've actually gotten a lot more black ash than when I was just a few minutes ago, even. In the rich ancient iron and the ores, which I'm not even tracking. Okay, if I can avoid these mobs, once again, I'd like to try to, but just because I'm so deep into this, I don't really want to, so I'll probably fight these two. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use wisdom of the council. I'm doing way too much tanking here. Actually, the potion might have been enough. If I can get, if my lynx would. I don't know, maybe my lynx is attacking him. He's just uh, being very bad at attacking him. That should interrupt the induction too. So I'll let my lynx get a little bit of aggro. Not mean to share the power, that actually costs more out for me. I don't want that. I just want to avoid getting the cooldown on Wisdom of the Council so I can save it for when I really need it. Okay, should be able to use draw the power and not draw too much aggro. Use it. Okay. Wow, he's... okay. Yeah, this might be a little bit difficult to be honest. He's just right there in the middle, like, wandering around like a normal giant. I almost feel like I should try and just pull him and pull him out here while these mobs are dead. Let's try it. There's no mob, like, directly around him. Oh, my lynx! No, oh, my lynx. Um. Oh, they're all chasing me. <laughs> that didn't work out. Santiago ED, it is definitely worth using Gust of Wind after Burning Embers. If you watch me play, you'll notice I pretty much do that the whole time. And that's why I have Gust of Wind here in like my main rotation skills. I want to do this before these other giants uh, respawn. It's one thing. Oh, I'm gonna aggro that one. That one's okay. I'm just worried about the ones right behind me respawning again. Do I have a third one attacking me? I do. Put a daze on that one, re some of my links. Yes, yeah, I don't have anything with that on cooldown. Maybe Bane Player would interrupt induction. I don't know why my Lynx is so, like, sometimes just so slow about talking, talking, um, like going up to mobs and actually hitting them. It's just, like, so weird. The pets in this game, they're just buggy in general. Knowledge of the Lore Master, I think, does debuff specific mobs. It won't, like, debuff these regular mobs. It doesn't do anything. Oh, this one's respawning. That's just what I was worried about. 
This is why I wanted to pull the Elite Master out, but as soon as, like, the one time he got on that little area, I could pull him. That was probably just... A, no, I was actually out of that. My Lynx decided to go and, like, aggro everything. He's actually kind of out in the open now, so I do want to tap him, even though I'm fighting a mob right now and have, like, no morale and just got stunned. Oh, and he just one-shot me for 1,300. I don't think that's worth 15 Mithril Coins. We will do that later, because I was getting pretty tired there anyway, and this conveniently took me right to the quest turn in, so that's actually not too big of a deal. It would have been nice getting that. Yeah, it does look like it is out of combat. Um, probably the sword from that. I think that's actually an upgrade. The resistance rating might actually make it worth the uh, 8 less will and I don't care too much about the fate. I'll go ahead and get that in. Maybe think about it a bit later. And the wrist, uh, the shoes definitely not. Looks like the shoulders are worth the most. Okay, so that will wrap up this stream. I will... I don't know. There's just so many random things I have to do. I kind of probably just do a bunch of cleaning up my next stream, which would probably be tomorrow. I don't see a particular reason right now why I can't stream tomorrow late evening, but I just might not feel like it because I'll get home real late. And I do have a couple other things I'll need to do, but... If I do stream tomorrow, um, I'll probably just get around to cleaning up the quests on this character, but as far as, like, dying by that elite, it was probably a kind of good thing, the elite master, and spawning right here because I was getting tired and kind of wanted to be out of that area. If I was a little bit more focused, I probably would, uh, go back, and if it was a little bit earlier, it's, like, way later than I want to be finishing this stream, but I hope you all did enjoy this one. And if you do, please do consider liking and subscribing for more, and thanks for watching and joining everyone.